internet. My name is Matthew Hallis. I'm an associate solutions engineer at Excellus Visual Information Solutions out in Boulder, Colorado. And I'm here today to talk about the quality assessment band offered within the Landsat 8 data product. More specifically, how that quality assessment band is going to help you classify land cover types within all of your Landsat 8 data. So anyone that's worked on some land cover classification knows that there is a big issue with discerning between highly reflective urban areas and similarly highly reflective snow covered areas. You start with your pixel and your pixel represents either this, your snow covered peak, or this, your, your snow covered building. So then you take it a step further and you want to check out these spectral profiles. Unfortunately, when you're limited in your spectral information, these spectral profiles are going to look very similar. Now, NASA has thought about this and they've said to themselves, well, hey, let's take some time and let's research and uh, do some archival research. And basically, through all of their work since Landsat 5 and 7 and now with Landsat 8, they decided to add on the quality assessment band to the Landsat 8 sensor. Now the whole goal of this quality assessment band was to give specific values for similarly specific land cover types, whether it is snow, clouds, bare earth, water, whatever. What we've been able to determine is that specific values on the far right of the histogram of the quality assessment band relate directly to snow and they help to avoid just pulling out pixels of snow covered urban areas. If you want to hear more about this and get in a little more depth, then you can go to our website at excellusvis.com and go to our Imagery Speaks blog where you can find my post regarding the quality assessment band and how it relates to land cover classification.